Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to replace your HTC Evo 4G's speakers. You know the speakers inside the phone, the one by the earpiece right here, and then the one in the middle of the phone that uh, produces the sound when you get a phone call. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to order the speakers. And you can order the speakers from this place right here. This is the website. You can actually find them on eBay also. Here's the telephone number. Um, it's in China or Japan, so I doubt you're going to be calling if you're in America. Here's the speakers. They come in a little packet. Five, a little over five dollars shipped. Let's say about five dollars and thirty some cents. All right. So here's the speakers. Be careful not to break them. All right. So here's what they look like. This is the speaker that goes into the earpiece where you listen. And this right here will be the speaker that puts out your uh, ringtones and stuff like that. Here's the HTC Evo 4G. This one's from Sprint. Um, I'm just going to show you real quick what the sound sounds like when it's distorted or messed up. Uh, you hear it? It's pretty much just uh, raspy. Let's see if I can. I'm sure, you can hear that speaker being real raspy. Okay, so here's how we're gonna fix that. First, you're gonna go ahead and take the back off the phone. Then you're gonna pull your battery. After that, you're going to go ahead and pull this little clip right here straight up. And you're going to take your micro SD card out. Now, what you're, the tool you're going to need for this is you're going to need this tool right here. You can get it at uh, Home Depot. This is the part number of the tool. And uh, you're going to need a T5. They come out. It's a little T5. They uh, have little, they're pretty much like star or a nine point. Here's a bigger one so you can see. Okay. So it just goes, slides in here like this. Has a little lock. On the back, you can pop it and there's a bunch more in here. Each does all kinds of stuff different uh, phones and stuff. Alright, so you need the T5 tip. You're going to take out all four of these screws. Actually, let's see here. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So six screws. We've removed all six screws on the HTC Evo. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and pull the back apart. You're going to have to run your fingernail through here just kind of lift just carefully you can even get a plastic knife if you want but be careful because we don't want to break the clips inside there they should just pop we're going to work with this one real quick you just pretty much flipped the back over like this and here is the speaker right here for your ringtones or and your video sound and everything. It comes like this, it looks a little different, but they put it in a protective case. You're gonna take this little protective case out. Okay, now to take this out, you're just simply gonna lift up. And remember which way it goes, okay? We got the pins here. Remember, the pins are gonna go, these two little prongies are gonna be facing this little square jobby, okay? And you can't mix it up because if you go that way or that way or flip it, it doesn't matter. You can't mess it up. Okay, we're going to set that one there. Now we're going to take the new one out. And they got like a little film over it. You're just going to peel the film off. And be careful not to damage any of the pins when you're peeling the film off. All right. Then you just kind of pop it out, <clears throat> and there we have it. Now, you want to take the little sticky off. There's a little sticky on here, because it makes it stick. You can see this. You want to peel that off. And 
And now we're going to put the pins facing this way, same way we had it. And we're just going to set it in there and give it a little push. And the adhesive will stick to the casing. Okay, now we just went ahead and that's replacing the uh, <clears throat> the sound uh, for your ringtone speaker. Now we got to find the other speaker, and it's for your headphone or for your earpiece. All right, for this, we're gonna have to flip the board. We have one more screw to take off, and it's right here on the top corner, right by the uh, audio jack. You can use a little, it's a Phillips. You can use a little eyeglass screwdriver, a little glasses screwdriver for your eyes. Or you can just use one of these smaller tips. I'm just going to use a smaller tip. Unscrew it. Alright, now we should be able to pull this motherboard. Be careful, there's a ribbon right here. You don't want to rip it, so we're going to go this way. And just going to lift it. Kind of run your finger down it a little bit. You're going to hear a little peeling, and that's fine. Now we're just going to kind of open it like a door and just leave it. We're going to leave all these ribbons on. Now you see this right here? This is the speaker. We're going to pop it out. I'm going to use a little fillet or flathead to pop this one out. There's a little corner right here, and you're just going to lift up on it. It's just got adhesive on it, so. You just want to pop it out. There's a, actually a little spot right here. You don't want to break your phone, though. There we go. Okay. Now there's that speaker. Now we're going to take the new one, and we're just going to lay it in there. <clears throat> Alright, so make sure you lay it in the, the correct way. Make sure you get all the pieces off because that left a little, little ring. I'll show you here in a second. It left a little ring right there. I just caught it. It was still on there. I actually peeled it off from the speaker. It was missing the ring. So make sure you get that ring if it's still stuck there. Little copper ring. You want the pins. See there's a high part. You want the high part of the pins facing down. So set that in there. Give it a good push. And when you close it, pay attention. Make sure they're touching. So you can see right here. There you go. Okay, now we're just going to put it back together. Squish down on a little bit, grab that one screw that was right there. We're going to put that one right back in its place. <clears throat> Don't force anything if it feels like it's not going in. And it's obviously something sticking. All right, let's just screw that one down. All right, we got that. <clears throat> now we're just gonna put everything back together. If you took your keys out like I did, you gotta put them back in. It's pretty simple. It's really only one way you can put them in. If you need a reference, here's a reference. There'll be a little piece sticking out higher above the motherboard on that key. And then on this key, should be the same thing. Okay, there's another reference for you guys. Alright, got that. Now we're just going to take our cover and we're going to flip it. And you can always double check your work by looking at your pins right here and right here. And they're going to hit right here and right here. And you're just going to push it down until it starts clicking. Push it all the way down, all the way around. Don't force it. Just give it little clicks. Because you don't want to break off anything. Now we're going to put all the six screws back in. Now that you have all the screws back in, just make sure that all your edges are 
nice and tight, which they are. Now that you have the back all put back together, just slide in your micro SD card, click it, put your battery back in, terminals going down on the pins. Put your back cover on, and you're all set. <clears throat> just a quick tip. Uh, the first, I assembled this one time before and the ringtone speaker wouldn't work. Well, here was the problem. Um, this is the old speaker. And you see this film right here along the edge, the square film? Well, when I put it on, the original one had a real thin, kind of like looking like this, square film. Well, I peeled this film off of the old one and put it on the new one plus the new one's original film that was already on it because it had to extend it a little higher so that these little leads would make contact when I put the back on it wasn't pushing far enough to make contact on the motherboard so if you guys run into that problem that's the solution phone's all powered up let's go ahead and test out the sound I'm just gonna go to settings display, or not display, my bad, sound and then we're just going to go to phone ringtone we're just going to hear some no more raspiness nice and clear Yeah, I figured I'd play that one. That's pretty funny. Well, you guys get the point, and uh, everything works great. Well, guys, hope you enjoyed this little how-to video on change your HTC Evo 4G speakers. Um, I make all kinds of other videos. If you guys are interested, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, check out my channel.